Hey you guys, I uh, just got done talking about annealing. We're going to go ahead and talk about pickling now. I'm going to do this in segments so that all you new smiths can actually get the right information and watch it a little bit at a time. Alright, so uh, when it comes to pickling, there's purpose behind it. There's a couple purposes behind it. Okay, this is a little piece of copper that we just got done annealing. See how it's all black and orange and it's just ugly? Not very coppery, right? You got to get this stuff off. This is called fire scale. Okay, you want to get it off before you stamp, you want to get it off before you really do much of anything. Um, after you anneal it, it's perfectly fine to do this. Anyhow, um, so this black stuff on the outside, it's called fire scale. Um, it's oxidation because the heat will actually burn away certain minerals and just, just oxidize what's left. Alright, it's adding oxygen to the surface of the metal. So, anyhow, what we've got here is a crock pot. I got this one right here at Goodwill for probably like three or four dollars. I pick these things up about every time I go in there once a month because I'm. <laughs> you, you can never be short crock pots for me. This is a small one. This is a little dipper. It's one of the ones that you know if somebody buys the set and realize well they don't really need the little one for anything. Anyhow, um, basically you have to plug it in to turn it on. Unplug it to turn it off. I can't stress enough. Turn it off when you're done. Turn it off with before you leave the studio. Tape a put a post it like everywhere in the studio. Turn off your pickle pot. Turn off your pickle pot. So many people leave them on. <laughs> And what happens is it cooks the cooks the water out and boils the water down and then cooks the uh, acid itself down into this really thick crust at the bottom and you almost can't get it out. So again, I got a couple of these lying around. There's a reason for it. Um, anyhow, so I've got that. And with mine, by the way, I went out and I think I spent like maybe eight bucks and bought myself a little switch for it so I can click it off and click it on. It's a little bit more convenient than plugging it in and unplugging it, um, but you have to know about wiring to be able to do that. It's not hard. Um, so anyhow, first of all, what I use is this is Sparex number two. I keep it in a jar instead of in the bag that it comes in. Um, it comes in granular form. You want to use distilled water when you actually do when you actually put it in there. Uh, for those of you who've seen my videos before, you know that I. I smith like I bake. I, I don't I don't measure anything. I just dump some in the cap and dump it in there. So if any of you guys know the actual ratio for those who are actually concerned about it, you know, go ahead and put, leave it in the comments. Anyhow, so Sparex number two, distilled water. Again, I put about half a cap full in. Um, and the other thing that you're going to need, and I have a metal bowl. You can use plastic. It doesn't really matter. Just a bowl that's got water and baking soda in it. And yes, that's what it looks like after it's been used. And it's fine. As long as it still fizzles when you drop one thing from the pickle pot into there. Anyhow, so just baking soda and water. Um, so what this stuff does, it doesn't just get rid of your fire scale or your tarnish or you know any of that. What it does do also is it will get rid of the flux. So as you flux a piece, you'll notice that it leaves kind of a glassy blue-green film to it um, where the flux has been. It'll eat the flux right off. Okay. Uh, a couple things to point out. Do not leave your piece in overnight. It will eat through it. Okay. Uh, another thing. There is more than one way to pickle a piece. There's different recipes. Some people use citric acid. I know some people use Sparex and hydrogen peroxide is a super pickle. Um, some people use, I think it's pH down or pH up. I can't recall which. I don't use any of that. I just stick with the Sparex because it's what I know. But there's more than one way to do it. and There's more environmentally friendly ways to do it. Again, this is how I do it. Doesn't mean any other way is wrong, it just means this is how I do it. Anyhow, um, so what we're going to do is start with what can you put in pickle pot. Copper only. Copper and silver. That's it. <laughs> uh, brass. I understand that you can pickle brass and gold as well. But for mine, I primarily work in copper and, copper and silver. Um, this is my handy little pair of tongs that I made. <laughs> So my son ran off with my other pair and I still haven't found them yet. And this one is a quarter inch copper pipe that I bent in half. This has lasted me well over a year. That, or almost a year. Anyhow, I just bent it in half. Kind of formed it myself and over the over this last year it sort of formed as well. And then I hammered the ends flat, okay? And then snipped them off, okay? And then I can manipulate it. It is starting to break down here at the very bottom. No big deal, I'll just make myself another pair. <laughs> So, you know, you can, you can get these or you can get the $8 pair off of Amazon, it doesn't really matter. Now, anytime you go to put your piece in, use your copper tongs, okay? Whether you made them yourself or you bought them. 
You'll notice that it's hot. You want to give it about 20 or 30 minutes to, to heat up before you actually use it. See the steam coming out of it? It's good. Always gently set your piece in your pickle pot. Don't drop it in. I mean, hot acid, it sounds bad. Really, it's just hot and you wash it off, put a little baking soda on it. But what the, what the baking soda is going to do is it's going to neutralize the acid. Now, the other thing that you're going to notice when you, uh, when you pull it out is it's going to have kind of like a, a whitish film to it. It'll make it look kind of pink or orange. That's okay. All it's doing is it's eating away the top layer of metal, um, which is also, you know, it's eating, eating away the oxidation as well. And it's leaving behind the zinc because it won't eat the zinc out. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. Just give it a polish when you're done. No big deal. But I always recommend annealing your metal before you do any other work. You know, if you've, if you've added any kind of heat to it. Just get it good, get it good and clean. Anyhow, so this one right here, it's not going to take very long. Usually uh, about a minute to two minutes is good. And with as hot as this is right now, you'll start seeing results pretty much right away and it's almost ready. Um, in the meantime, you'll notice that I dip my tongs in the, well, it should be every time, uh, dip it in just to keep it from continuing to eat away my copper. See, I'll show you. On my tongs, top half, it's all kind of gross and oxidized. Bottom half, it's got that zinc looking color on it. Okay? Nothing wrong with this. You just, I mean, if you really want to clean your metal up, just clean it up. Take a, I don't know, some people use Brillo, uh, Brillo pads or steel wool. Rub it on there really good. Um, polish, uh, polishing wheels are good. Um, throw it in a tumbler overnight. That'll clean it with steel shot. But it looks like looks like it's good. All right, so I'll get my as much of it off in there as I can. I'm gonna dip it in my baking soda. And again. See, it's got that zinc, zinc film on it. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to have. Okay? A lot of it's going to come off, or some of it's going to come off on your tech paper towel. Okay? And then another thing, too, remember, I just annealed this. It's still annealed, so you're still good. You don't have to worry about this hardening the metal in any form or fashion until, until you start doing this. And I bet you if I did this enough, I could break it. I'm going to find out. Ah, see? That's what work hardening does. Anyhow. So there you go. Um, and then another thing uh, that you'll find, where did it go? Oh, I threw it in the scrap bin. This is another piece that I had, uh, that I had pickled with silver. It's still going to have that, that white film on it. Again, it's easily polished off. Okay. Um, I use the, I'll, usually I'll start with the Dremel wire wheel, the steel wire wheel, just the flat wheel put it on my Fordham and that'll clean the zinc off and then I'll go through with the polishing process but that's how I do it everybody does it differently okay so and this is not annealed so it's not gonna come out any different <laughs> anyhow that goes back and scrap then always put your lid back on it when you're not using it you can leave it on if you're in the shop like I am for 8 to 12 hours a day um, and you're, you're using it consistently I don't use mine consistently all day long but you know it's okay to leave it on check it every so often it's gonna get super duper hot all right, but again, can't stress it enough. Unplug it when you're done. At the end of the day, if you think that you're completely finished, unplug your pickle pot. It gets ugly if you don't. I mean, it's just gross. You'll notice also that I have mine on a tray that's got some aluminum foil on it. Um, that's honestly, that's just a cookie sheet, like an old one that I pulled out of service. And I, I put the, it needs to be changed badly, but I put the um, tin foil on it just to keep it from really ruining the cookie sheet any more than it already is. And it also makes it easier to clean up. So when I'm done with my pickling and, and I'm, 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 I'm ready, it's time for me to actually uh, clean this area up. All I have to do is pull this off, throw it away, and put a new sheet on so it's just easy cleanup. Um, anyhow, I hope you guys actually found, some, found something useful about that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, if anybody with, uh, who's an experienced metalsmith has different, um, different recipes for pickles. Um, you know, a lot of people like doing the eco-friendly stuff. That's great. I, I admire it. I use Sparex because <laughs> I, I, I just do. Um, don't dump it down the sink when you're finished. Dear God, don't dump it down the sink. Um, 
when you're finished with it and you feel it's spent or let's say you're moving and you got to empty out the contents or you know what have you this is going to last you a long time okay you don't really have to change this out a whole lot um, you can reconstitute and add to it whatever um, so when, when, when you are ready to dispose of it just uh, <laughs> get yourself a big bowl the plastic is fine doesn't matter a huge ginormous bowl okay <laughs> and then uh, put your pickle in there and then very slowly add um, baking soda to it until it's completely f done fizzing okay and it's gonna take a lot of baking soda even with a small pot like this a lot of baking soda and it, it'll explode like Vesuvius if you uh, if you just dump a whole crap load of baking soda in at once so please be cautious so get a big bowl and a tray do it outside where there's no fumes um, just you know use a little common sense there anyhow hopefully that helped you guys out some and I hope y'all have a good night